At the time when our, our people came over and were trying to establish themselves in these locations, uh, Lakota people were already inhabited in these areas. There were Dakota encampments all over these areas here of, of a larger village. In this particular story, um, Strawberry Island is actually the last war that we had with the Dakota people that were established here. We're talking about a time in summer, um, right around, uh, you know, the weather would be like this. I would say between 1742 and 1744, uh, 45. Our Ojibwe ancestors drove the villages that they found here, the different encampments, drove them out to Strawberry Island. This is one of the, the, the final stands that the, uh, the Buana or the Sioux had taken. If you can imagine a um, hundred birch bark canoes, um, you know, with two or three warriors um, floating, like a floating fortress, so to speak, uh, surrounding this island. Oh, there were survivors, uh, there were a few uh, Dakota warriors and people that did escape. We regard Strawberry Island as sacred because of maybe the burials that are out there. Our souls uh, rest out there from our people and, and the Sioux people. The island is a sacred place. That final battle at Strawberry Island for this area um, directly reflects in who we are today. We continue to remember the history of our territory and most specifically uh, this island. It's, um, it's highly regarded to us as, in a cultural sense.